students, this is Coach Holiday. In today's lesson, we're looking at solving systems of equations using graphing. Um, but today, what's different about today's lesson is that we're going to have to put the equations into y equals mx plus b form. And then I'm going to show you how to use the calculator to do what you did on paper yesterday. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started by reviewing a little bit about what you did yesterday. If you remember, on the graph of a system of two equations, the solutions the solution is where the graphs intersect or they cross. It's the point where they cross. So if I have two lines, say there's one line and there's another line, the solution is that point right there where they intersect. Now remember you had you had the possibilities for them intersecting once. You also had lines that were parallel which don't intersect, so those had no solutions. And then you had lines which were the exact same line. So there's one line and the exact same line on top of it. And those had infinitely many solutions, if you'll just remember, okay? All right, so that's a quick review. Let's jump into uh, uh, an example problem and uh, get through this lesson. All right, so what we want to do is we want to determine, first of all, determine the number of solutions. And if you remember, to determine the number of solutions, we look at, basically we look at the slope. If the slopes are different, then they have one solution. If the slopes are the same, then they either have uh, no solution or infinitely many solutions, depending on if they're the same line or not. So let's do that. So um, we want to determine if they're the same, so I have to find the slope. And to find the slope, I have to have the equations in y equals mx plus b form. So the first equation, 3x plus y equals 6, I need to put this in y equals. So I'll draw my little line there, circle my y. i got to get rid of this 3x. So to get rid of that, I'm going to zero it out by subtracting 3x from both sides. All right, And what that leaves us with, this makes a zero pair. I'm left with y equals, since I need this in y equals mx plus b form, I'm going to write the x part first. So I'm going to put negative 3x, and then 6 is positive, so I'm going to put plus 6. All right. Now the second equation, I'm going to do that in a different color. The second equation is x plus 4y equals negative 20. All right. Now let's solve this one for y. I'm going to start out by subtracting x from both sides because I'm trying to get the y by itself. So I'm going to do the zero pair part first. Those make zero. And I'm left with positive 4y equals, I'm going to put the x part first, and I'm going to make it negative 1x. Since there's no number in front of it, we'll put a 1. And then the 20 is negative, so I'm going to put minus 20. The second step is to get rid of this multiplication by 4, so we'll divide both sides by 4. And when I divide both sides by 4, that just leaves me with y equals negative 1 fourth x. Negative 20 divided by positive 4 would be minus 5. So there's my two equations. First equation, second equation. If you'll notice the slopes are different, so here's the slope of the first one, negative 3. Slope of the second one, negative 1 fourth. They're different, so that means there is one solution. Since there's one solution, we're going to go ahead and find that solution. Okay. Now I'm going to rewrite these equations over here because I need some space to bring my calculator in there. So I have y equals negative 3x plus 6 and y equals negative 1 fourth x minus 5. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my calcul my graphing calculator in here into the screen. And I know you don't, most of you don't have a gra graphing calculator at home, but uh, I'm going to show you the steps now. So here's what we do. The calculator is going to find that solution for us. So since I have my equations in y equals mx plus b form, there's my first equation. 
There's my second equation. I'm just going to put those into the calculator by pressing y equals. I'm going to write the first one in there. Negative 3x plus 6. Press enter. And I'm going to put my second equation in there. Now remember, it's a fraction, so if you press alpha y equals and then 1, you can write your fraction. And that's 1 and then on top and 4 on the bottom. Space over, put my x and then minus 5. Now I've got both equations in the calculators by pressing y equals. Now I'm going to press graph and look and see where they intersect. So they intersect on the screen and they intersect right here. So I'm gonna, that looks like it's about one, two, three, four, and about negative five, six or seven. I can't exactly tell, but we're gonna let the calculator find that out. So here's the steps that I do to let the calculator find that point of intersection for me. If you look across the top row, I have a button that says trace, and above that it says calc or calculate. To get to that, I have to press the second button. So I press second, and trace and that gets me to calculate. And if you look at calculate, one, two, three, four, number five is intersect. It's going to calculate where these lines intersect. So if I press five, it's going to ask me, is this my first curve? Y1 is negative 3x plus 6. If I look over, my first equation was y equals negative 3x plus 6. So I just press enter. It asks me, is my second equation negative 1 fourth x minus 5? Negative 1 fourth x minus 5, that's true, so I press enter. And now it asks me to, have, to, to take a guess. I'm going to put the cursor close to where they intersect. It doesn't have to be exact, just put it close. I'm just going to put it right there. And if I just press enter now, it's going to come up and give me that point of intersection. And the intersection is 4, negative 6. So my solution to this system is the, the point 4, negative 6. If I take the 4 and plug it in for the x and the negative 6 and plug it in for the y for each of these equations, it'll make each of them true statements, which means it's a solution to both. Therefore, it's a solution to this system. Okay? So on the next uh, page, we're going to write down what those steps were real quick and for solving in the graphing calculator. So the first step was is to put both equations in y equals mx plus b form. The second state, the second um, step is enter equations into y equals in the calculator. The third, so those are the first two steps. The third step, right, remember after we entered it, then we're going to graph, uh, we're going to press graph to make sure we see the end point of intersection. And then we're going to press second, trace, five, and then enter three times. Enter, you don't really have to just move the, the cursor. And then that gives us our solution. So those are the steps, okay? All right, that brings us to the end of this lesson. Please, please, please complete that whisk. Answer those questions submitted, turn them in, and we'll see you in class for some practice.